High school now, after a week in Fairland and a week at Cabell Midland, our Team of the Week trophy crosses into the Commonwealth tonight. And there's nothing like a buzzer beater on a football Friday night to spice up the story. Andrew Colgrove hands out the hardware for us. The first day of fall is still a couple weeks away, so it's fitting the Team of the Week trophy is making its way by summer hotspot Grayson Lake. Friday night, East Carter built a 14-point cushion at Boyd County. Touchdown, East Carter. But the Lions battled back and took a one-point lead with under four minutes remaining. What were you telling your kids at that point? Telling their kids, you know, we, we've practiced this, but we, we've been working on these situations. Just stay calm, execute, do what we do. The Raiders put together a drive that chewed up the remainder of the clock. With 13 seconds left. When the ball was snapped, I felt like we had a chance. We saw a press man. Junior quarterback Quentin Johnson threw a fade to Gabe Roberts, who made the grab in the end zone and secured the 33-28 win. It's every kid's dream to make a great play like that. To have that play out the way it did was, was great for those kids and our fans and our school and, and our entire community. After your late heroics on Friday night, East Carter is the WSAZ Team of the Week. Congratulations. <laughs> We're going to put it up in the locker room with all the other trophies we got. Glad we could uh, bring this back to East Carter. A perfectly executed play with the game on the line, earning the Raiders the W in this edition of the highly coveted hardware. Andrew Colgrove, WSAZ News Channel 3, Grayson. Well, that thing dropped straight to the bottom of Grayson Lake if it fell off the dock there. Congratulations to East Carter, the team of the week. And one quick soccer note, Marshall.